Hey guys, welcome to your home mod for another day. So today we're going to start with a repeat from Tuesday, which is our seven minute ads. I'm not going to do them again for you right now, but I am going to include a link below to Tuesday's video. We've done them a few times now, um, and I want you guys to choose a set number of reps like before um, that you can build upon each week. So last week we did 12 or 13, this week you should be striving for 14 or 15, and then the next week so on and so forth, we can add a rep. Um, and keep building those abs. So that's going to be your warm-up today. Our strength work today, we have a bit of an endurance circuit. So we're going to do five rounds and it's actually four time today. So on Tuesday we did something similar, um, but it was actually rest is needed to get the reps unbroken. Today it's just five rounds per time. So we've got 15 diamond push-ups. With our diamond push-ups, you're going to bring your hands together like so to complete your push-up reps. If that doesn't work for you, I just want you guys to aim for as narrow a grip as possible, but start with a diamond position and go to your knees if needed before bringing your hands further apart. Our next one is going to be 10 rows. You're going to get your object and you're going to pull the object up to your chest for 10 rows and it's obviously on each side. Remember if that object is a little bit too heavy or too light, either add or subtract some reps um, just to make sure you're getting a good workout in. Our next one is going to be 12 single leg squats. So again, today I'm showing you to a deficit that's a little bit higher than what I showed you on Tuesday, but this is what we're going to go with today to show you that anything works. So you're going to go 12 single leg squats each side. So it's not a pistol, it's actually a single leg squat. This leg just needs to be bent, doesn't need to be straight. Once you've done 12 on one side, quickly move to the other. Well, with these, make sure we're tracking our knee outside our smallest toe. We don't want our knee coming inwards at all. Really focus on the stability aspect of this exercise. Obviously, the lower your chair or lounge, etc., is, the harder it's going to be for you. And finally, we've got 20 calf raises. So with our calf raises, you can hold on to something if you like. Otherwise, you can just put your hands on your hips. We want to go up onto our toes as high and as explosively as possible, and then come back down. So we've got 20 calf raises. Five rounds for time, see how fast you can get through it while still maintaining good. Our conditioning today is a pretty brutal one, so I hope you guys are up for it. I've done this one before, did it over the weekend, it's super challenging. So I've got three rounds, 100 meters walking lunge, 400 meter run. <laughs> so your legs are gonna be absolutely uh, blowing up on this one. So I'll make sure when I do the Saturday Live Wad, it's not too brutal on those legs. Obviously without walking lunge, it's unweighted, hands on your hips, Knee touches the ground each time and you come through a straight position. Once you've done your 100 meters, you're gonna go straight into a 400 meter run and then repeat that for a further two rounds for a total of three rounds. Enjoy that one, it is particularly brutal.